Hello my succulent friends and succulent viewers, how are you all doing? So last weekend I shared to you my succulent in my shelving area, which is the first layer one. And in this weekend video, I'm going to share to you the second layer of my succulent shelving area. So guys, stick around, don't go anywhere. Please join me and let's explore it together, the second part of this video. Now let's go down to the bottom one. So the bottom one, guys, um, I'm going to give you a quick look. Now this is Benny Musume that I surrounded it with Echeveria Elegance. I have a cactus there. This one here, you see, I still in the original container. It's $12. Another cactus of mine. There you go, it's already multiplying. Um, here it is, Echeveria. I mean, I think this is a Tosa, not sure, but really gorgeous as well. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Now, another propagation of mine, the Compactum. See, there it is. It's gorgeous, isn't it, guys? Look. From far distance, they are beautiful. And this one is Rebutia Heliosa. It's already also multiplying. And I got it for $15. Gorgeous. Now this one, I'm not sure what's the ID. But I don't know if this got a flower. And another beautiful cactus that is in this pot or jar and this one is um i i lost terra polvinosa and it has a yellow flower and i have this so this one here's the name echinopsis it's crested and for 15 dollars gorgeous isn't it guys and another cactus there there you go that's the bottom shelf or second shelf and now right over here this beautiful one here gorgeous color and it's flowering at the moment and there you go now this one is a combination of mendoza and marine Mirine. Now this one is the Mirine and now this one is Mendoza. The Mirine has a small leaf and Mendoza is slightly bigger than the Mirine. There. And my gem. I don't know the complete name. I forgot. I put it on the screen. Gorgeous as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful color. Gorgeous. Then I have those how worthy are they? See, beautiful. Or Gasteria. There you go. That is how worthy Coperi. And I have this one here right at the back. They're so cute. I'll show you. It has a very long name. I already shared this one before when I got first got it. And it multiplies already. Gorgeous. And there is the name of that. Conophytum or Conopytum jacundum marlothii. <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it, guys? So cute. And it has a beautiful flowers as well. And another one of that. Here, another co co Compytum. Yeah, hang on. Mm. Now, this one is really cute, tiny. And as you see, it already opened up. And it has two babies inside. And look at that. This one got the flowers as well. It has a gorgeous flowers. I think yellow one. Gorgeous, beautiful. Now, next over here, I have these bear poles. Actually, this is variegated before and I lost the variegation. 
you see i don't know if you can see any variegation there but i think it's gone disappear <laughs> and this one is a echeveria minima you see the babies underneath and it's forming a clump which is really i like no this one i haven't potted anything yet and more of my um how worthy are they i love how worthy they are very what you call this low maintenance i don't even really look after them well and they doesn't really are bothered by millibug as much you yeah. know and i also have this chroma in a small pot look at that gorgeous chroma now this one is a stress chroma if you compare to my other chroma here down the bottom here and this is chroma as well you see when they're stressed they have very thick beautiful leaf and this one i think this is the not stress one <laughs> it's flowering at the moment all right what else now this one is a Haworthia that is variegated one but some of the Haworthia lost the variegation more Haworthia on there this one here too I put the ID on the screen if you want to get yourself one I hope I can remember it there you go has a beautiful nice color in there and then over this side I have this tricolor. There you go. Beautiful one. It's spilling out of the pot. Gorgeous, isn't it, guys? And also, this one is really hard to look after it for me. Now, this is Echeveria Cospi Data. Uh, this one, the mother plant dies. I cut it and it gives me more babies in there but it's very slow growing I have the band buddies so it's starting to stress out showing a nice beautiful color and another Haworth here yeah. look at this one guys I'll take it out oh, it's really nice in this part it's growing mm, I hope I will not drop it it's a quite heavy nail here you go look at that how gorgeous is that beautiful clumping habit there and in this beautiful pot as well um nice beautiful pot there you go see let's remove this there it is another how worth here beautiful and this one too guys this one is I love this one, this kind of Haworthia. Yeah, it looks like as well an Echeveria is in a look. Look at the form of that. And this beautiful part. And when we look at closer, you can see it's very transparent on the tip. The gorgeous one. There you go very healthy and low maintenance plant that one another one of the plant it's very uh, stressed at the moment very red it's very small see very cute too there you go here they are mm. panda bear panda bear now I'm not sure what's the ID for this. It has been attacked by millibug and I treated it with um, methylated spirit and I didn't dilute the methylated spirit and that's what it ended up. It burns. But it's alright. That will going to recover one day. There you go. So here's the look of the second shelving. Now I cannot really put a lot of nice echeveria on the bottom because it's not getting a good sunlight in there and the plant will attain your light so i just put it right on the top here so here they are okay all right so right at the bottom 
right at the bottom guys it's a mess in here <laughs> because the weeds is growing and uh some of them here it's not really need to be here but i put it here just to get some protection when i put the shade cloth so i have mexican giant there i have a fantastic fountain now fantastic fountain they are beautiful if they don't be attacked by mealybug mealybug loves this one and look at the weeds there you go another so this one here beautiful there you go okay now this one here down the bottom this is lilacina and this one too is lilacina they have different looks or different color nearly the same shape when i got this one it has a label of lilacina and the same lilacina all right so this one is blood maria it's not coloring up for me much then over here is a combination of elegance hercules this one also hercules and bene musume but i think i need to repot it guys because it's destroying the shape of the plant they're running out of space now next one here I have this another blood maria I love blood maria especially when they are stressed my orpet is being squished in the middle and this is benimusume echeberia benimusume gorgeous isn't it guys uh, gorgeous look at that they are happy even we have a lot of rain happening I got lots of ladybug this year helping me out with those mealybug infestation <laughs> and a crested of something i'm not sure what sort of crested is this one and violet queen gorgeous now this one is pvn that i beheaded uh it start with one now it multiplies a lot there you go so when you beheaded your succulent you will expect to end up like this over there this is Another algal voids is a hybrid one. We're moving fast. Now this one is my leaf propagation black prints. And another propagation here, leaf propagation. See it got wet too much, I think it start rotting. You see the leaves start rotting? there you are and another oh this is chroma my clavatum here it is this clavatum is getting a lot of rain and start rotting look at it the leaf is dropping and start rotting here it is so i need to um probably just remove the drop rotting leaf so it will not going to um, contaminate the others and i have this arrangement here i did this one last christmas i still have this nativity in here I haven't removed it yet but it's overgrown um there's a lot of leaf in there and i have this beautiful one here i'm not sure what's the identification of fuga look at that gorgeous isn't it guys gorgeous and purple delight different from the one on top um variegated aloes another clumping haworthia there you go and now this one here my other club gorgeous look at that i have um succulent here that I put it in this uh, wooden crate or wooden box uh, I mix it up together because I'm running out of space so I have the Echeveria, I think it's a Tulsa uh, Minima Lilacina in there this one I'm not, I don't know the ID I think it's Polydonus 
another fantastic fountain this one is Hera it's not colorful and another Agavoidus which is I think this is either Mira or Limea this beautiful jade variegated plant gorgeous you go and this one I forgot the ID for this I'll put it on the screen if I can remember now this is a it's dry a little bit a Chiberia Capri I'll put it there I think another Echeveria Capri there now this one is given to me by a friend so I don't have the ID for it another Pachyphytum glutinical, but it's not colorful or maybe it's oviforum, I'm not sure no, I think it's Pachyphytum glutinical now my Leticia that I've been waiting to stress out so I can see that beautiful red color now this one here it's kind of crested but it's not but I don't know the ID for this and you see the leaf is stuck rotting as well or dried they are dried and rot and still gorgeous oh look at the color guys beautiful so I just put it here there and I think it's kind of a little bit protected from that overhead cover there so yeah look at this one guys oh beautiful mm. okay so I have another Lilacina here this one it's very big and some bunch of succulent there that I don't know the identification sorry and some talking okay, about some glutinical because I've been um, Propagating lots of this Pachypytum glutinical leaf propagation. So this is a leaf propagation. That's why I have a lot of Pachypytum glutinical because I love their color purple and chubby leaf. All right, over here you see this container here is very wet. Now I have this. This one is Pachyveria rough. Before it's small and now it's growing nicely but not coloring up yet. Now this one is Echeveria White Zaragoza. And over here, look at this one guys. The leaves are rotting a bit, too much water in there. And I have another succulent here. I'm not sure what's the ID because the identification that i written here are all gone disappear now this is a graptoveria rose something now look at the color guys beautiful color look at that gorgeous color isn't it and another minima gorgeous minima here it is it's been receiving a lot of rain you see the soil is very very wet but there's not much rotting happening there and another crested one and this one here I don't have the identification and I have this crested Ionium gorgeous and this one I think is purple delight and yeah that's it for now so I'm going to update the other requests of Miss Colin for me that um, arrangement in that rectangular part I love this area here but I need to update this area here and repot some of my succulent that is overgrowing there you go beautiful love that love 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 this area here So let's go to my other um, succulent area. So here is the 
a succulent arrangement in this rectangular pot um it's overgrown you can't hardly see the arrangement down below so the uh, violet queen is still looking good now this succulent here in the middle is very pale it's not getting a lot of sunlight but this one here is gorgeous has a lot of leaf and the flower i think mostly it flowers on springtime and i have a little few of these ionium kiwi there that is popping out and guess what my ionium sunburst is really overtaking this arrangement so when the rain stops i will going to behead this from there remove this and leave a little few of a ionium there so i can still see my arrangement here down the bottom even this um Tokyo-san is taking over as well you can see my other arrangement there oh look at this one guys i think my um aloe is rotting yeah here they are this is what it looks like now some of the plant are overgrowing the ionium kiwi is coloring up my bronze delight here in the corner it's not coloring nicely it's not getting a lot of sunlight and this jade plant here it's thickening up as well but it's very green and more growing of this ionium sunburst here and i found a snail eating my um ionium sunburst and over here look at this one guys because of too much rain the ruby necklace is rotting look at that so i'm going to remove this uh when the rain stops and just leave it with and propagate it somewhere else so here they are it's rotting there and it's creating a mildew so i'm going to remove that as soon as possible and my pvn over here see it's rotting as well there you go because we have too much rain lightly and not much of the sunlight but my um what you call this string of pearls look at that they are gorgeous they're growing nicely and the variegated one really lush there you go beautiful see they're growing nicely on the side of this well, that's what it looks like on this arrangement here in this rectangular part not so attractive but they are very healthy all of them just a little bit casualty but not a lot and when the rain stop i'm going to redo this this is what it looks like now and yeah the ruby necklace on the side look at this one guys gorgeous it has a beautiful color okay so that's it for now i think the video is too long already <laughs> and i will going to hope to see you next time and i hope everyone are in good health and good spirits and happy gardening to everyone and happy weekend see you next time guys bye